Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Gaming Weekly. In this video, it's quite bizarre, in fact, much more unsettling compared to the other videos we've done this past week due to the fact that in this interview, the Killer Clowns confessed to something. They confessed to abducting somebody out there. Now, we don't know if this is actually true or not. However, just to be on the safe side, we did contact the authorities. They told us that they will be looking into it and will be delivering multiple investigations to see if this is actually true or if it's just bluff. Nonetheless, though, we're going to go ahead and take you to the interview. And again, during the interview, the Killer Clowns confessed to abducting someone. Gentlemen, once again, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, there's a lot to talk about after what happened this past week. In fact, you guys started off by saying that you guys were going to invade schools out there. But it seems that you guys are indeed doing that because... We saw the video earlier this week that there was a killer clown inside the school. Now, how do you guys react to the charged up comments the students were making this past week saying that they're not afraid, that they're going to rise up and overcome you guys? Well, it's very simple. They can think what they want, but they won't have a chance to rise against us. And um, as mentioned, we're joined by Booba the Clown and Momo the Clown. Momo, uh, I'd love to uh, get your take on this. Uh, I really just feel like they're gonna, they're just saying that for an excuse that they actually are scared. And we're pushing forward. We're doing what we do with this. That's what we are. So you guys are not afraid. You guys have no problem at all that students are now retaliating that they're actually whipping up a plan to try to defeat you guys. Absolutely not. No fear in us whatsoever. Not one little bit. Okay. Let me ask you this question. If I may interrupt. Oh, yes, go ahead. We have, I actually need to confess someone. I need to confess something. Okay. We actually abducted someone last night. Wasn't on the news, but we did. Hold on, are you actually are you actually serious, or is this? Oh, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious, sir. You do understand that after you saying that, we have no other choice but to contact the authorities. You do understand that, correct? Of course, and that's what we want. We want destruction. We want the war. Okay, I had a bunch of questions to ask concerning the schools and all the uh, different stuff happening, but now that you dropped this bombshell, um, why did you abduct this person? We get a throw out of it, and we're not done quite yet with it. We got a whole list to go through. Okay. You guys said it last week, how you guys are wanting to abduct people to indeed brainwash them to, uh, try to let them become killer clowns down the road. Is that what you're doing? Yes. yes. Do you guys honestly believe that this little plan of yours is actually going to work? Do you honestly believe that the person that you abducted last night, for any other person out there for that matter, is going to follow your ways? This is becoming sickening. Oh, I know they are going to follow it. They're not here right now. They're not with the parents. They're not with their siblings. Okay, sir. Mr. Booba the Clown. You know, mm. I'm a little flustered. I'm flabbergasted because, again, this entire interview was going to revolve around what happened this past week, and you just dropped me with this bombshell. What's your reaction over the fact that us TGW uh, directors and such will indeed be contacting the police? I know you said that this is what you want, but, I mean, come on. This is... This is ludicrous. I mean, you don't really want this, do you? You don't want the cops involved in such. I mean, for all intents and purposes, you're just going too far. Oh, I do want the war. I want the cops to be contacted. Okay, so how did you abduct this person then? It's quite simple. I went up to their house. They were home alone. They had night. Broke down the door, put them in a bag, brought them to my warehouse, my other clowns. I try to remain objective 
and unbiased. I really am as an interviewer. But I'm here to tell you that you're a sick man. You're a completely sick human being for, for doing what you just did. If this is actually true. And again, the police officers, you best believe we're going to be contacting the police after this interview. And you best believe they're going to be investigating this. And you best believe that if you committed that act, you will be caught. I haven't been caught so far. Yeah. I mean, Momo, I mean, listen, you're following the leader Booba the Clown, but I mean, you of all people must admit that abducting somebody must be going too far. That's crossing the line there. I sometimes go further than Booba himself. Hold on, what do, you, what do you mean by that? Sometimes I do worse things than you when we're not speaking. Okay. Some things are best kept alone. Well, let's talk about the abduction itself. You guys abducted one person. Can you identify who this person is? Are you guys going to keep it a secret? Are you guys going to keep his identity undisclosed? We're not. It's going to be undisclosed. We're not going to identify who this person was or the gender of this person. Okay. Can you at least tell us who's next? There's a lot. It's a big surprise to come through. So you guys are going for it. You guys are going to go all out. You guys are building this entire thing right to the top because, again, we're just a couple of weeks away from October 31st, Halloween night, where allegedly that's when the purge is going to transpire. That's when the purge is going to happen. Let me ask you guys this question. Don't you guys believe that perhaps if you guys abduct way too many victims, you guys are going to get caught? Before the October 31st uh, purge, you guys won't be around for it? I haven't been caught so far. I'm not worried about getting caught. And if the cops do want to stop me, then they're asking for playtime. How many, um, gentlemen, how many people were involved in this quote-unquote abduction that took place? Was it just you two or an entire group? Oh, it was an entire group, a group of clowns. And this victim tried to fight back. They were trying to fight back, but it didn't work. They had no power against us. What was the last thing that they've said? They were bleeding. They cried. They were begging to be let go. It was late at night. They were home alone. They had no arm. They couldn't do nothing. A big. Okay. I mean, I can't help but to ask this question again. I mean, I've asked this question multiple times and multiple times, and the answer stays the same. But, I mean, I could ask you again after this entire thing. You must feel just a small, a small ray of sympathy for these victims out there who are pleading. I mean, what have they done to you exactly? I mean, yeah, you're targeting the entire society in general, but why target people specifically? Why target individually? All they want to do is enjoy their life, and you're ruining their own life. Don't you feel some sort of sympathy for that? We do not feel bad. And never will. Not one bit. Okay. Listen, I still don't understand this entire thing because you guys claimed over the past couple of weeks that you guys were rejected, that you guys were pushed around in society, that you guys basically were harassed by everyone. And yet, you guys are contradicting yourselves because it looks like you guys are doing the same exact thing. Don't you see any contradictions? Don't you guys ask, you know what? Maybe this is actually going a bit too far. I mean, we're doing the same thing that they've done to us. Why do it this way? We never ask ourselves, why are we doing this? But we do ask ourselves, what's our next movement going to be? Okay, are you guys prepared for perhaps you guys to be attacked? I mean, if there was an abduction that took place last night, keep in mind that, again, we will be contacting the cops and the authorities and so on and so forth, but there's going to be investigations, and I would imagine that you guys will get caught, you guys will be found. Are you guys prepared for what's to come in the future. Of course. I've been ready since day one. 
And Momo... Momo, I mean, listen, of course, we interviewed you, of course, a, a few weeks ago as well. And you told us that you're not scared. Uh, it seems that Booba the Clown is not scared at all, but... Are you perhaps scared deep down inside, or are you just enjoying? Are you just having fun with this? I've been enjoying my life. Can I ask you guys where are you guys at right now? I would imagine you guys are going to keep that secret. Oh. Well, we don't really give out where we are, but we're everywhere. October 31st. Just a few weeks away, as I mentioned. The aforementioned purge is what got people talking all over social media. So you guys are wanting the cops to go after you guys. Are you guys a bit angry, frustrated, livid over the fact that, uh, as we see you on camera now, I was just going to say, are you guys a bit frustrated over the fact that the cops have yet to truly respond to your guys' acts? No, let them respond as much as they want. Okay. Again, personally, I believe that you guys are going way too far. But I gotta ask you guys, if there's one final message you want to send to the public, to the people watching this video, to the people listening, what would that message be? It's very simple. And I want everyone to hear me out right now. On and October 31st. Mm -hmm. Every human standing right now is going to crumble beneath us. They will feel the wrath of us. And there's nothing they can do about it. And, uh, Momo, any uh, final words? We will leave no trace behind coming October 31st. It will be the biggest purge all through 2016, 2017, 18, 20, all the years. Yeah, we had little purges, but this year we will come back with the strongest, the biggest clown army that we can possibly get. We already have 500,000 plus clowns. I don't know if anyone tries us. We will fight that. Just know that. <laughs> Gentlemen, thanks for joining us.